ECOP, East African Court Rules Oil Pipeline Can Go Ahead, Throws Out Civil Society Case Dismissal of East Africa Pipeline Case. The Independent Uganda, by the Independent November 30, 2023 at 11.30 a.m. Feedly AI found one regulatory changes mentioned in this article. The court upheld the objection by Tanzania's Solicitor General, noting that the case was filed out of time prescribed by the East African Community Treaty. Kampala, Uganda, the Independent, the East African Court of Justice, EACJ, has handed down a judgment in the case filed by a number of civil society actors that sought to challenge the construction of the East African crude oil pipeline. The actors including the Africa Institute for Energy Governance, AFIEGO, Natural Justice, Center for Strategic Litigation, the Center for Food and Adequate Living Rights, CEFROHT, Limited, in November 2020 filed a case against the governments of Uganda and Tanzania, and the Secretary General of the East African Community, EAC, challenging the construction of the EACOP at the EACJ. The applicants wanted a temporary injunction to stop the construction of the EACOP until the questions of environmental, social justice, and climate justice concerns raised in the case were heard and determined. The court sitting in Russia on Wednesday ruled on the preliminary objections raised by Tanzania's Solicitor General. The court upheld the objection by Tanzania's Solicitor General, noting that the case was filed out of time prescribed by the East African Community Treaty. The ruling was delivered by Justice Yohane B. Masara, Principal Judge Justice Dr. Lawrence Gachike, Justice Dr. Charles Nyuelo, Justice Richard Mahamza and Justice Richard Wagwire Wijuli. The judges held that the applicants should have filed the case as early as 2017, rather than in 2020 and as a result, the court does not have jurisdiction to hear the matter. The governments of Uganda and Tanzania signed the host government's agreements for the East African Crude Oil Pipeline, EACOP, in 2017. The lawyers representing the government of Uganda argued that the matter should have been filed at that time. The Attorney General of Uganda was represented by Martin Mwambutsia, the Director Civil Litigation, Gord Kalamara Commissioner for Civil Litigation, Richard Adrol Assistant Commissioner for Civil Litigation, Charity Nabasa and Mugisha Twinamugisha. The ruling means that the applicants cannot proceed with the merits of the case. AFIEGO issued a statement saying the ruling will negatively impact the environmental rights of Ugandans, Kenyans and Tanzanians. It said the applicants will appeal the ruling. It said they applicants believe that the judgment failed to take into consideration pertinent facts that would have allowed the applicants to have the merits heard before the court. Dickens Kamugisha, the chief executive officer of AFIEGO said it is a somber day for the millions of East Africans who had anticipated that the court would allow the consideration of evidence concerning the environmental, social, and economic risks of the EACOP project and make a determination on our case based on its merits. Despite the setback we have suffered, we remain determined and are prepared to appeal this unjust ruling, firmly believing that the dangers posed by EACOP can and will be stopped, said Kamugisha. Lucian Limacher, head of Defending Rights and Litigation of Natural Justice said the court of first instance for the East African Court of Justice failed to provide civil society with the chance to argue their case. This judgment marks a continuation of how the Global North and various government institutions in Africa are blind to the destruction of the environment and the impact oil and gas has on the climate. Profit is valued above livelihoods and the environment. We will evaluate the judgment in detail and make the necessary actions to ensure we continue to protect the environment and the people who live in it. Deus Valentine Rayumamu the chief executive officer of CSL said they respect the court's decision but feel that an opportunity to hold the governments of Tanzania and Uganda accountable for non-compliance with the EAC treaty provisions on the environment and other environmental laws has been missed. We shall engage our legal team and proceed with an appeal, he said. Dale Onyango of Natural Justice said while they are disappointed by the court's decision, they respect the legal process and will carefully review the ruling. Our commitment to environmental sustainability, social justice, and climate resilience remains unwavering. We will explore all available avenues to continue advocating for the well-being of our communities and the protection of our environment. Burn. Share on. WhatsApp. The post-EACOP, East African Court Rules Oil Pipeline Can Go Ahead, Throws Out Civil Society Case Appeared First on the Independent Uganda. Share. Visit website.